all the time, which is sometimes true to some directors. But I think that it's not, it's, it's not appropriate and it deserves um, what is real life, which is human things, and uh, literature, which is also true with your project about the editing company. So my question is, it's a trend we have seen for about 50 years, all capital things, uh, really bored, very strong with this, and other people. And um, what does it mean for you to work with you, Fontainebleau and the few projects are not capital, but so using so often capital effects, like the pro last project in Valencia, it's like a factory, more than anything friendly to uh, other people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure to understand all the details of your question, but um, if you, I, I understand you ask me why we always use the capitals, but we didn't use it for the text you have to read, it's only for the titles, and uh, I think in the street or in because we, we, we create signage uh, and uh, I think it works for the signage, so it works for the different posters or for the very big and large letters. And nobody says it does, uh, it's not readable, so I don't know why um, it should be. But maybe. So, so I don't have a specific, uh, uh, specific, uh, to say specific explication around that. I will, I will, I will think about it. It's a good question, of course, but I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by it. Sorry. <laughs> I have a good question. Maybe easier. Shorter, please. <laughs> When you draw this this typeface, mm -hmm. uh, have you have you heard about uh, a typeface by Karl Legle, a Swiss artist uh, of the 1920s, 30s? He was an illustrator and he did only one typeface, mm -hmm. the Doric, and it's it's a bit similar. There's same kind of shape with angle 